This short and sweet arm workout is just a small excerpt from our latest postnatal reformal workout, now live on the online studio at pilatesbylisa.com.au. You can head over there and check out the full-length version, but in the meantime, enjoy this short and sweet workout. We're now going to once again roll to our side and press ourselves up with our arm nice and safely and change our spring down to one full spring for our arm work. Now we're going to place our headrest down, turn towards the back of the carriage and extend our legs through the shoulder pads. You're going to reach for your straps and slide your hands all the way through for the chest expansion. Now pressing back through the heels of the hands, we're going to open the chest, reach back and squeeze and then inhale to return. Exhale to press, and as you return, come just in front of your pelvis. Keep tension on the springs. We've got seven to go like this. Exhale to press, and then inhale to control just before the stopper. Press. Keep the collarbone nice and wide. Open up the chest every time you press back. Squeezing through the triceps, drawing the navel in towards the spine. Press all the way back and come just in front of the hips. Press. This is excellent for your posture. Now bring your arms up in line with your shoulders. Squeezing in towards the shoulders, keep the elbows at shoulder height the whole way through. Lengthening all the way up with control. Eight more like this. Squeeze and lengthen. And seven. Keep your spine nice and long. Six to go and stretching back out at shoulder height. Five. Four more. Lengthen all the way out. Squeeze those hands right in towards the shoulders. Let's just do two more. And one last time. Now here, using the core, turn the palms into face one another. Draw the straps in towards the chest and round your spine, drawing your navel in, coming back into a rounded position. Now keep that nice rounded spine as you curl over the pelvis, lengthen up through your spine and stretch the arms out nice and long. Drawing in towards the chest nice and slowly to begin with, rounding your spine, drawing your navel in. Now round over the pelvis, lengthen your spine and lengthen your arms. We're going to turn this into one fluid movement, curling back as you pull the hands into the chest and then rounding over the pelvis to lengthen up and stretch the arms. Curling in to round back and then rounding over the pelvis as you extend the arms nice and long. Smooth, fluid and controlled. Rounding over and lengthening up nice and tall. Scooping through your centre. Drawing those hands right in towards the sternum, keeping the shoulders down and away from the ears. Drawing that navel in, pulling in through your powerhouse, and then stretching up nice and tall. Rounding all the way back. And then lengthening back up. We're just going to do one more like this, pulling the ropes right in towards the chest and then rounding back up and over and lengthening up nice and tall. On this next one, staying down. We're going to row. So make sure that you lengthen those arms out and then take the elbows wide as you come into a nice wide row. We're taking those hands out in line with the elbows. Squeezing the shoulder blades together and keeping your spine nice and rounded. Let's do six more. And five. Keep the abdominals braced the whole way through. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed and away from the ears. Now we're going to come all the way up nice and tall into a nice neutral spine. And once again, come into that nice wide row in a nice neutral position. Nine more like this. Good, keep that going. Bring those hands out nice and wide into goal post position. Keep the abdominals braced. Once again, squeezing the shoulder blades together and opening up through the chest with every repetition. Keep those elbows at shoulder height the whole way through. Squeeze. This is tough. Keep it going. Reaching all the way out. Lower those straps down 
unrest. Thank you.